This is not a routine announcement. This is a historic announcement for the conference. It's a move that positions the conference for future growth and success. And it's a move that provides stability to the conference. So what is this big announcement? Well, we are in Houston for it. We can tell you that much with Mike Lucas, as always. I'm Justin Woodard. Here is the news. Sam Houston State saying goodbye to the Southland Conference and hello to the Western Athletic Conference. This becomes effective this summer, so pretty quick and more exciting. Stephen F. Austin, their bitter rival, coming with them. And not just the Lumberjacks, ACU and Lamar, also going from the Southland to the WAC, and Southern Utah will join them in 2022. Overall, a major step up in athletics for the Bearcats and something that Athletic Director Bobby Williams says will open doors for all their programs. This just fits perfect for us and what we're trying to accomplish uh, moving into the WAC and, and all the vision that they have. And so it's an exciting time and a great time to be a Bearcat. Nationally, we've had such a good national brand, but I think it enhances uh, uh, that, that thought process and also helps us with revenue generation from there. So the universities that are going to be playing are very quality football programs. And the best part about that is that's going to help us basketball and baseball and all of our other sports as well with the recognition that, that, that it brings. That was the broader scope of what happened here today at NRG Stadium, but now let's break it down by sport head coach Casey Keeler of Sam Houston State. Of course, he's the football coach. We talked with him. The big news, by later this decade, we're going to go from the FCS to the FBS. That's what the WAC wants to do. New Mexico State in this conference already competing at that level as an independent. So, yeah, you Bearcats, you better put on your big boy pants. The FBS level, a major step up in competition. That's what A&M plays in and all the other Power 5 schools. You know it, it'll be a long process for Sam to get there, but it's an opportunity they say they just couldn't pass up. Pushing each other is a good thing. We want for everyone to be successful in this conference. When we play an out-of-conference game, you want our guys to win those out-of-conference games to keep on building the brand. And so it's kind of funny. We're in this thing together, but we're, you know, we're rivals. To look at the future of this in the long term, I think whatever short-term um, issues we have to work through, I think are going to be well beneficiary you know, down the road. From the gridiron to the hardwood, and that's what this conference is really known for, basketball. Yes, it is a basketball conference. It's loaded from top to bottom. New Mexico State, as we mentioned about football, well, they're really a basketball school. They go to the NCAA tournament almost every single year, and this is why it's big for Sam, because right now it's extremely hard to get into the big dance. You have to win the Southland Conference Tournament. Maybe no more once this takes effect this summer. We saw two years ago Sam went 16-2 and in conference play but lost in the – Southland Conference semifinals, and when that happens, they had no shot at making the NCAA tournament. But in a mid-major powerhouse conference like the WAC, those opportunities to maybe slip up in the conference tournament don't mean as much because this has the potential to be a two-bid league. We're excited about what we have right now in our program and where our program is, and we feel like that we can step into that conference and, you know, no disrespect, that's a really good league. It's a great basketball league with a lot of really good coaches and a lot of really good teams, but but we feel like we can be competitive right away. Yes, it's always to be in good competition with like-minded people. So with that being said, yes, um, there's going to be some early challenges just because it's a conference that we hadn't played in that we're going to have to get to know really fast. But um, we're excited about it, and I think that, you know, we're up for the challenge with that. We can also tell you there will be a West and Southwest division. Sam Houston State will be in that Southwest division comprised of all the Texas schools. So yes, some travel out to California and Nevada will be there, but the divisions help big time with travel and revenue. Money, baby, money, the big talker today as well. Yeah, and the number one sentiment we got from today from everyone we spoke to is that today is a great day to be a Bearcat. That'll do it from here at NRG Stadium with Mike Lucas. As always, I'm Justin Wood.